I'm on a small river in search of channel catfish, and I got to tell you, we are in a drought. I mean, I've never seen this river this low before. It could be a challenge, but I'm up for it. Let's get loaded. Here I am at a local gas station, and I've got to pick up suckers. Hopefully, this gas station has suckers. I know they got night crawlers. I'm going to pick up night crawlers as well because... This river that I'm going to is super low right now. I, in fact, I've never seen it so low. So I, I don't know if there's gonna be snags that I can fish. If there aren't any snags that I can fish, if they're out of the water, I just wanna have some options to maybe just, um, you know, dangle a, a night crawler under a float. So I'm gonna get some night crawlers. Fingers crossed that they have suckers. Let's see what happens. Howdy. If you've never had it, this drink, I really recommend it. Ultra Rosa, baby. Oh yeah, this is my dinner for tonight. Chicken salad sandwich. Do you have uh, suckers? Big suckers? Big suckers? Well, they don't, don't, they don't need, necessarily need to be huge. I'm going catfishing. They're gonna be cut up, so it's not like they're. I know. Okay. Yeah, they're more like. Oh yeah, those will work. Can I take the biggest six okay. suckers that you got? Uh, and do you mind being on my YouTube channel? Why? Oh, I'm just. I like to document my fishing adventures. If you don't want to, I can block you out. What do you mean? You're gonna watch me do this? Yeah, some believe it or not, oh, people think this is exciting. Okay. You want to do it? There's a thousand people right now that are subscribed to my channel. It's really exciting. I'll do too. It's your it's your moment to shine. This is this is your this is your chance. It's stardom here. You, you had no idea that a a super successful YouTuber was going to stop in your gas station. I'm being highly sarcastic. That's four. One, two, three, four. This one will work. Five. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. See, I'm a professional. You see, I'm, he's not going to get me with those pinchers. I've, I started my career catching these guys. Oh, really? Kind of. Actually, not kind of. I, I did. There you go. There's one right yeah. there. Perfect. All righty. We are good to go. It's always good to check to make sure that night crawlers are good to go. Oh yeah, they look good. All right, thank you very much, appreciate it. All right, well, we've uh, got a bit of a problem. I just crossed the bridge of the stretch of river that I wanted to fish and it's super low. I can't even get my kayak uh, on the water here. I'm not gonna be able to go upstream. So I don't, um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. I, there may be some deeper stretches. I'm, I'm trying to think where I could be able to get the kayak in right now. So um, this is interesting. This ain't gonna work either. Well, I just was kind of looking at this new stretch here and I was thinking it was too shallow, but if I paddle upstream, I might be able to get to some deeper bends. With the water so shallow, I'm just thinking that they've gotta be, they just gotta be in holes right now. Um, so I was thinking I was going to keep on going downstream. I saw fish jump over here. I think, I think I'm going to attempt this. This could be really stupid.
Well, the good news is I found a way to get down here. Bad news is I'm not sure this kayak's gonna float. I gotta turn this thing. Uh, come here. The bow is stuck in the mud here. There we go. Uh, uh, trolling monitors stuck over here. Uh, all right. This might actually work. And voila, oh, let's hope she floats. Yeah, we're getting into some deeper water here. I could probably, yeah, it's starting to get deeper right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the trolling motor down. Just a little bit, not too much. That should be good there. And we should be able now to go upstream a heck of a lot faster. All right, now we are cooking. The trolling motor down and we're actually in some deeper water here. The interesting thing is, well, I just don't know how far I can get upstream. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go upstream as far as I can. I know I've got water to fish down here, it's deep enough. The great thing about, uh, you know, drought conditions like we're in, I mean, this is the lowest I've ever seen this river. The great thing about that is that it concentrates fish. Uh, there's less places for them to hide. They're gonna be in these deeper areas. This is where the channel is deepest right here. Um, so I can come back here and fish this. I'd like to find some snags in this, you know, deeper stuff if I can, and then present uh, cut suckers in front of that. If I can't, if there's not a lot of stuff um, in the water, I'm just gonna have to fish these. I think what I'll do is I'll just float, you know, a night crawler through these areas and, um, you know, probably catch a mixed bag, you know, carp and, and catfish doing that. So, but I think uh, we'll just go upstream and see what we got in front of us here. not enough water here so hmm there may be enough water right in here I'm gonna let's see if I can put my foot down here yeah I think what we're gonna do is we're going to I'm gonna I'm gonna fish this wood right through here with a float and a night crawler might even be deeper over there. And we're just gonna work this. I'm gonna have that float just barely above the night crawler, super shallow. Super shallow. bring that float up. You notice I'm calling it a float. It's not a bobber, you know. It's more professional called a float.
All right, I think we need to find deeper water. We're gonna go downstream back to where that hole is behind me and just we're gonna spend a lot of time there. That's got to be where they're at. This is a river bend and it's the deepest water in the river. That's where you'll find the deepest water on river bends and that's what we're gonna just concentrate on. I'm, I'm hoping that they're just super packed in these, these deep holes because there's not a whole lot of other places for them to be right now. probably spooking fish with this kayak and I want to fish this bend right here I want to fish that bank it's deeper over there um, I mean it's shallow all the way up to that bank so I'm gonna wade this and just present this night crawler um, along that bank right in that deeper water and see what happens Immediately got one got one and it's a cat and it's a cat and it's a good one unbelievable. I had a few <laughs> Oh my god, is that cool? It's a good cat, too. I knew there was only god, What a no-brainer That is awesome. Oh my god first cast in there. Oh And it's a good one god. I love this river Come here, bud Come here, I knew you had to be there. I knew you had to be in there. Come here. Oh, Mr. Channel. On the night crawler. On the night crawler, come here. Come over here. Oh, is that fun. Oh, come here. Oh, not, that's not nice of you. That's not nice, you're still green. Come here, come here. Oh man, I love that. All right, all right, nice and easy. Nice and easy, bud. All right, well, that'll work. <laughs> He's not making this easy. I just dropped the rod. That's really, really ugly. Come over here. Huh. There you go. Not a bad channel cat. Small river channel. They get much bigger in here. So, um, yeah. That's a lot of fun. Let's uh, let them go. I'm really thinking there's gonna be a lot more in here. There you go, bud. Oh boy, yes. So there's really nothing sophisticated here. I just hook the crawler there, hook the crawler there, hook the crawler there. Hook the crawler there <laughs> as many times really as I can on this hook. This is a one-aught, I believe this is a one-aught kale hook. And I just like to have some danglies hanging out here just to provide some action. one. This is a small channel cat. Look at that. That's so cool how they're, when they're young like this, look at how cute you are. You are just adorable. The future right there. When they're young like this, they just have those, those spots all over them. Really, really cool. There you go, bud.
There's one. All right. It is a, is this a large mouth? What is this? Holy smokes. It's, it's, it's either a large mouth or a small mouth. It's a large mouth. I'm blown away. I've never caught a large mouth on this lake. What, or on this river rather. What in the world? Dude, what are you doing in here? Unbelievable. Come here. What are you doing in here? That is crazy. <laughs> a large mouth on a muddy, I mean, this is a catfish river, man. These guys are so resilient. It's unbelievable. They can live just about anywhere. That guy is chunky too, man. That is nuts. <laughs> Little large mouth. See ya. Thing that I really love about float fishing, bobber fishing, is first of all, I feel like a kid when I'm doing it. I just feel like a kid in general, but I really feel like a kid when I'm bobber fishing. And what's great about this particular uh, float is that this is like, there's a spring on the bottom of this. And so you can just easily take the float off, put it in your pocket, and then just bottom fish. And it's nice to be able to do that because sometimes those fish are like right on the bottom. And sometimes, you know, they're suspended, but you can really just cover a lot of water with a float and just drift this whole area, have that, that, that float just drift through this whole area and just cover a lot of water that way. But sometimes, you know, the fish don't want that or you're presenting the bait too high. So I can just take that, that uh, float right off and now make a presentation right on the bottom it's a little bit deeper right there so now I'm just gonna let it sit on the bottom and see if I can't get a fish that way but what's nice about that style of float is that in a you know situation like this you're not fishing deep so you don't need to worry about you know a, a slip bobber um, this is just it's super convenient just to be able to take that that bobber right off and get right back to fishing. I cannot believe how tough it is. I'm really feeling very lucky to have caught that one channel catfish. Actually, I guess I caught two, but that one was, you know, a little bit more respectable size, but hey, this is fishing, you know, we're just gonna try to do our best. We've got one other area down here and then I'm not gonna have any light. So I'm gonna pull up the anchor and head down to the next bend here. Stuck right here. I think I'm just gonna stay here. This should be deeper all along this bank here. Well, I guess that's going to be the night. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I caught that channel catfish because it's really sucked. I, I thought, you know, in these deeper areas, they'd be loaded up and I don't know. They're not, or, or, or they're at least not active. So whatever, this is the lowest I've ever seen this river. It's nuts how low it is. So, I mean, upstream, there's some deeper holes that I just can't get to. It's just so shallow, unfortunately, but I'm happy to be out and you know, listen, I caught some fish, it is what it is. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like the video. You know, I say this every time, but it is important. The algorithm, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And the best way to support Angling Uploaded is to become a patron on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash angling uploaded. We've got giveaways. I upload the content there before anywhere else. Um, and it's just uh, better fan interaction, all that stuff. So appreciate you guys watching. And hopefully next video, we'll load the boat.